What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks, and you see the shoes that are right here. We're gonna talk about my best slash worst sneaker investment of 2022. And this video is going to be a banger. We're just gonna keep it 100. How much money I ended up paying for these right here. We're gonna talk about the shoe that I actually invested in and how much money have I actually made off this investment and again man the sneaker market is kind of down at this moment because of everything that is happening inflation there's a lot of factors and i'm gonna make a separate video about that but i wanted to make a quick investment video on what i actually did if it's actually a success or was it a failure with this investment so let's get right into the a video man guys as you guys know i actually made an ig reel about this shoe and this shoe i was like okay i'm gonna invest in this shoe because i can get it close to retail so before we talk about the shoe that i picked up guys if you can get a shoe close to retail or at retail and it's a popular shoe meaning that it moves volumes because people don't understand what investing you want a shoe that is actually going to move like you can get a shoe that raises up in resale price over time but if it can't move you're gonna be stuck with that shoe and that's why having a shoe that is movable is so crucial with sneaker investing but as you guys know a yeezy 350 before we get into yeezy 350 guys yeezys are very 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 dangerous to invest in because they always always restock and you hear my son in the background he's speaking too like man be careful with yeezys but yeezys are very 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 dangerous because they always restock and i'm going to show you the shoe that i actually invested in i have a lot of shoes and i'll show you how many shoes i actually have of this shoe i sold a lot and i still have a lot right now but it's the you see that shoe right there the Yeezy 350 Zebras. So a lot of people ask like, Sniper, why would you invest in the Yeezy 350 Zebras? It's because it actually moves. One thing about Yeezys is that when it's a colorway that people can actually wear, and it's springtime, I will be able to move. But you see the resale price. You see resale price is around 270 to 80. The retail price is around 230 plus tax is 252. So you're not making a lot of money on the resale market. But here's the thing: my investment of these Easy 350 Zebras is not a long-term investment. I bought these shoes because I know I can actually move them, and if I have to hold them for a few months, who cares? Because I'll be able to move them. But again, going back to reselling. So everybody cannot do an investment like this because at the end of the day, you have to be able to move these pairs. Yes, I'm gonna make a separate video. Make sure you comment below if you want me to make more videos on reselling. But one of the biggest tips that you can actually do is sell to bulk buyers, people that own sneaker stores. Because I have people in Chicago that own sneaker stores that sell these for around 370, 380, and people buy them because they're right there at the store. So that's why I talk about having shoes that can move because the more the shoe can move, the more you can actually get for that actual shoe. Like I've been selling these on my Instagram for around 310 bucks and I already sold a good amount over 10 pairs. Let's talk about how much I actually spent for these zebras. And I'm gonna give you a look of how many pairs I actually got around 15 pairs here. And I paid basically retail, 260 for each pair. Retail is 252, I played 260. So do the math. I pay 260 per pair. I have 15 pairs right here. I have 15 pairs right here, and I'll make around 50 bucks on each pair. So that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. 30 times 50 make a thousand and five hundred bucks on this shoe off a 260 times. You know, forgive me on my math. 260 times. 20 i'll put the math right there so that's when it's being smart with investing per se i'm not a guy that invests long term like sneaker invest sneaker invest will invest for months and years me on the other hand i like quick flipping and i'll do short term holds like i will hold the shoe for a couple months get them out the way make 50 bucks profit on each and keep it moving just having that volume and keeping cash flow running in my business but that's the reason why i invested in the yeezy 3 
50. Zebra was because I know I will be able to move these pairs and also get them to store owners that need them that can move them as well. So that is my reasoning behind it. People say this is the worst investment, but this is actually my worst best investment because I'll make over a grand on this shoe with a little bit of effort. Just putting money down, getting the shoes, taking a little bit of effort to actually sell them. So that is my reasoning behind investing in the Yeezys. But now let's talk about Yeezys regarding investing. Because a lot of people said Yeezys are bad investments. So yes, at a point, Yeezys aren't the greatest investments. If you want to invest, do Nike Donks. Again, Jordan 4s, if you can get them for close to retail or when they drop, those are the two most popular shoes. I know there's a lot of other investments that you could actually do, but at the end of the day, it's like those are Nike Dunks over Cream de la Creme when it comes to investing, especially those good colorways. I said before, be very careful investing in Yeezys because of all the restocks. Again, the retail price is higher. You're paying 250. The 700s, you're paying 300 per pair on retail. So that is the thing about Yeezys. I wanted to make this quick video about my worst, best sneaker investment. I just want to let you guys know about how you can actually do sneaker investing in a different type of way. You don't have to hold a shoe for so long. On top of that, you don't got to buy by stock X. If you create those relationships where people will buy, create relationships with bulk buyers, create relationships with sneaker store owners if you can do all those things you can grow your brand where people are gonna pay $20 over stock X price because you know they rock with you like all those things will allow you to sell a shoe like this for 310 because I know this shoe moves man it's springtime it's summertime people are going to want to rock easy zebras let's be real and that's the reason why I invested into this shoe even though it is a brick per se and a brick is basically a shoe you're not making money or a little bit of money maybe lunch money on and make sure you comment below in this video if you do have any questions comment below if you want me to make more reselling and investing videos because at the end of the day I want to help you guys out on everything reselling you know investments all that type of stuff because so I want everybody to make money. I want people to make money but this was a quick video on the 350 zebras. Yes these things have restocked so many times but you can make money based on the wearability and on top of that guys one thing I want to tell you guys on shoes especially when you start to grow a clientele especially when you have store owners that buy from you or bulk bars that buy from you if you go to StockX and see the shoes that sell the most if you get those shoes and you have relationships you can sell them higher than the asked price because number one they are moving that's one thing about reselling shoes that sell really quick and move fast you can sell for a higher price because again people are actually wanting this shoe so there's a lot of things that go into reselling again on my discord i go more in detail on this type of stuff and people can actually message me and i can tell them exactly what i do but it's just being strategic on when you're making investing you don't want to invest in something that doesn't move because at the end of the day you're going to be stuck with the shoe or you're going to lose money on that investment but you got to be smart with what you're doing and guys man like i said i want to make this quick video really do appreciate you guys for all your support we're going to keep this thing moving the jordan 4 infrareds are coming out on wednesday so i will be making a video about that as well that's a good shoe to actually invest in especially if you get for retail and we'll talk about all those things on my channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel smash that like button of course smash that notification bell but right here Yeezy 350s not the best investment but you can make some money on this shoe if you know how to do it correctly but classic shoe so many restocks but hey I'm gonna make my money really do appreciate you guys Sniper Kicks out peace